Let's discuss ties because many people ask me whether our toys are quality or not. And I thought I'll sit around in my kitchen to tell you all about the quality of ties. And what does it mean very briefly, how we can briefly check if the tie is of a quality or not. Let's discuss it now. So if you think about there must be some rules when it comes to how to choose your tie and what tie is good and what sort of quality materials uh, you should be buying and which tie is not good. So I come up with those three uh, very good quick rules. They've been around forever to sort of establish whether a tie is of a quality or not. So first of those rules is that when you've got a big piece of material and a tie is made out of that, whether that's a seven fold or normal three fold tie, it needs to be cut at 45 um, degrees angle. But how do you know this? Well, you don't until you do this test. Basically your tie, so the shell, so the front of the tie should stretch right like this so it's stretching it's fine it's okay it's stretching what it shouldn't do is if it has got that tip and a tip is obviously cut at an angle now what you're trying to do is stretch that tip and if you try to stretch that tip and you can't that means that the fabric was cut at 45 degree angle so you can stretch it that way but you cannot stretch it that way where the, the cut has happened. So I'm applying pressure right now and there is no way I can stretch that. So it means it was cut at 45 degrees angle and that means it won't twist when you wear it. Super important. Another super important thing for us here at Men's Finest is when we create a tie, use interlining that is actually of a quality. So it's not just a cheap polyester interlining. It's interlining that you can actually feel here. So it's made of um, some sort of blend um, of different materials, including polyester, but it's also cotton. It's also very thin, fine uh, threads of cotton. So when you actually touch the interlining of that tie, you can feel it and you can sort of see the thickness of it as well, which is what a quality tie should do. And most important thing is how do you know that a tie has been made by hand, even though the label says it has been made by hand? Does it actually mean that it's been by hand? Well, one of the things that you should be paying attention to is that the end of that small tip, so the thinner end of the tie, you should have a thread like this. Usually it is hidden, but I've pulled it out so you can see it. And when you pull that, see what happens with the tie? That is a hallmark of a quality handmade tie. Don't do this, you're not gonna ruin anything unless, unless it snaps. I'm gonna put it back in now. But this is a, a sort of a signature sign of it being sort of handmade because that thread there is super important to keep the tie together. So um, for all those folks who are thinking of, uh, you know, buying a handmade quality tie, go and check out down below. There is a link to all of our handmade Italian ties and you know what to look for when you're going to be purchasing your next handmade necktie. Got it? Stay stylish. Ciao. Oh, and I hope that you know how to tie a tie, right? You know how I do it. I'll just do it in the air very quickly, four in a hand, kind of knot. This is my favorite one because what it does is, is actually you control how it looks. You can create that dimple there, you know, and you can create very simply, very quickly, a nice sort of kind of thick knot. You like it? I do.